Mark Savage here. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Going and bought a BMW GS again. Okay, why has Marky gone and bought a BMW GS? Well, if you're a regular viewer of mine, I found the 2006 one quite nice, Mark 1. And I liked it so much, I bought a brand spanking new Mark III 2016. The problem I found, which I did a video of why sell a BMW, which is also on my channel, the weight of the damn thing. And I had a few little niggles with it, going through traffic, it sort of wiggled left and right. Since then, I've had many other bikes. But, as in my last video, we literally got off of this, the VN 1600, and got straight onto Ducati. And what do you think? I loved it. Because? You're more confident, maybe a little bit overconfident, but you are more confident. I felt better on the back of it, uh, but it feels very urgent and wants to get where it wants to go yesterday. So I prefer the BMW. The wife wanted a BMW. So I looked for the sales ads and I found a 2011. This one, which you've seen riding up and down the road. Wow, what a difference. I guess this is the Mark II. Different indicators on this one and a few other little subtle differences. Does it ride really well? Wow, it does. I really, really enjoyed this one. I've done 100 miles on it so far in a very short time. The gearbox. This engine has just done under 14,000 miles. The gearbox, the gear change is absolutely smooth. I found on my brand new one, it used to clunk and it sounded like, you know, just this massive bang noise when changing gear and the engine rattled like a bitch if I'm honest with you and this one it really doesn't it's smooth rides lovely it's what I expected my 2016 model to ride like the suspension on this is the old style it does still have all the gadgets but I found that when I had the panniers on it lowered it slightly and when I put the wife on the back it lowered it again but practically with my feet on the floor flat this is all I wanted from my original one I had. You know how much I love changing exhausts. This has got a lovely note to it. It's not too noisy and I really am not going to be changing it. Except for the front headlight, you really couldn't tell this was a 2011 model. Okay, the tyres are slightly smaller on the Mark III model. They're 170s, I think these are 150s. And the front tyres are 110 and then the newer model, they're 120s. This is air cooled and not water cooled. Maybe that's why it's lighter. And I said it's got the old headlight, but still see. And from the seating position, I found the Mark III was much closer. And the screen, as I said before in the other video, I couldn't see. This screen's far enough away, and I actually sit right up here somewhere. It still has the expandable boxes for these ones and the panniers, although they're in the uh, garage. Am I loving this Mark II 2011? Well. Yes, I am. So what needs to be done to this? Oil change. Filter. And the oil, obviously. Needs the spark plugs doing. It does take four, two on each side. And the air filter as well. Using Shell Advanced Oil in this one. Iridium plugs. Flow oil filter. Oh, I had to get something sporty. k and filter. Comes with stickers. In the next video, a complete service. You've got to remember, BMW would charge me £100 per hour. That's the hourly rate. Now, when I'm doing the bigger things, like the valve timing and stuff like that, um, and the big service, those video out there, I'll debate on that one. But before it starts hammering down, that's the next video. Simple service, plus, if you watch my latest video, I'm going to put this horn on there, show you the placement of that, how easy it's going to be. And okay, I haven't got the big frame on this one, it's not the GSA. I'm going to put these in, I'm going to be placing them at the front there with some better washers and, and spaces and stuff. So, guys, like, share, subscribe, check out the next video of this being serviced and the extra bits I'm going to do to it. Yes, there's a few decals coming as well. Come on, I can't help it. And check out my other videos as well.